What's up everybody, Marlacross Cross 316 back with another comic book flashback. Today we are looking at Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 13 and today's title is Confessions and we look on the cover and you better believe it, Peter Parker is revealing his secret identity to somebody and if you look in the reflections of Spider-Man's mask here, it looks like it's Mary Jane. Remember from last issue we were wondering what is Peter Parker calling Mary Jane for? And what's the big secret he has to reveal? Well, this is the big, big issue here where he's going to reveal his secret identity for the first time to Mary Jane. And, I mean, he hasn't spoke of his secret identity to anybody, but he has a lot of trust in Mary Jane Watson. They've both been liking each other. Um, they've, they're both in high school, as we know. Peter Parker is 15 Mary Jane's also in high school. She's probably about 15 as well. And they've been back and forth as best friends, but also kind of maybe exploring some feelings with each other as well. So we start out the issue here, Mary Jane asking, okay, so, and Peter Parker sitting on his bed. She is in anticipation. She's wondering and curious, what did Peter Parker call me over to his house for? What is this all about? So Peter Parker says, yes, yeah, so I, uh, and he's trying to get it out, but it's having a hard time. She's listening very closely, as we can see, and he says, I have something to tell you. And she says, okay, and then Peter Parker says, something, uh, woo boy, something big. And she's like, okay, and then she's like, and, and you, you cannot tell anyone, I mean anyone. And she's like, okay, and then she's like, He's like, ever, ever, ever. She's like, okay. He said, you got to promise me. She says, I promise. So this is great stuff here. And then he says, I mean it. You've got to promise me. And then he, she says, Peter. He said, he's like, okay. So he pauses. He looks into her eyes. She continues to wait. <laughs> I guess he forgets what he's trying to say here, and she's like, uh, Peter? And then he finally blurts it out. I'm Spider-Man. And look at the shock on her face right here. Oh my goodness. For the first time, Spider or Peter Parker has revealed himself to be Spider-Man. She's like, what What do you? What did you just say? And he's like, shh, keep it down. She's like, what? And she, he's like, shh, I'm Spider-Man. And she's like, you're Spider-Man. He said, yes. And she's like, the superhero? And he's like, yes. She starts to frown here. And this is funny. She starts to just burst out laughing. And she laughs so hard that she falls off Peter Parker's bed. And now it's going to cause Aunt May, who's also in the house, um, trying to wonder, what is Peter Parker and Mary Jane up to upstairs? They're supposed to be studying. And Peter Parker's like, I am. And she's like, oh, shut up. He says, stop it. You are such a goofball. He said, you need a whisper. And she's like, you stop. He said, I knew I was going to have to do this. And so what is he going to have to do? He's going to have to prove to her that he is Spider-Man. He jumps off the bed, leaps up, and now he's on the wall, hanging as you know Spider-Man can do. So now she's in total shock at this point. She looks around for a minute. Peter Parker continues to crawl on the wall. And he's like, uh, you okay? And she starts to scream. And this definitely gets on the nerves of Peter Parker now because now Aunt May definitely heard that and she's screaming still. And said, you gotta be, shush, Mary. My aunt is home. You gotta be. And then she says, Aunt May says, what's going on up there? And he says, oh, nothing, Aunt May. And then Aunt May says, I don't want any hanky-panky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So they think they're having sex. So this is crazy crap. Now Aunt May thinks that Aunt, that Mary Jane and Peter Parker are up to no good. And so Peter Parker's like, you can't tell anyone, Mary Jane. And she's like, Peter, you're a superhero. How did it? And so then Peter Parker explains to her what happened. He says that, remember on that field trip that we were on, the spider that bit me? And he said, yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. And I almost got bit as well. And he said, there was something going on with that spider. I don't know what exactly, but it was something. And now I'm Spider-Man. And she's like, oh my God, wait. That spider almost bit me too. 
And she, I could have been Spider-Man as well. And then she's like, holy, Peter, you're like a rock star. And so he's like, yeah, yeah, but listen, I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to use my powers for good here. And she's like, why don't you tell everybody that you're Spider-Man? And said, everybody at school loves Spider-Man. And he's like, because it's dangerous and I can't. And he said, please. And she even asked him, can I see your costume? And he said, it's downstairs in the lab. And I said, she said, you swear you you ain't putting me on? And he said, well, I swear. How would I? And then she starts to laugh. She starts to bounce on the bed. So now Aunt May thinks that they're definitely having sex. And she's like, i got to stop it, aunt, my aunt. And then she's like, but why don't you tell them? Tell everyone. And then he said, because there's Kingpin and there's all these threats that's after Spider-Man. And if I just went ahead and told everybody that I'm Spider-Man, I could place the ones I love in danger, like Aunt May. And then Aunt May would continue to worry about where I'm at or if I would ever come back home. So then Mary Jane's asked, but you told me. And then he's like, yeah, duh, you're my best friend. So she starts to smile, and then she's goofing around with him, and she's like, wow, I can't believe it. And she even, um, she says this, she says, you thought I was going to kiss you? Or basically, she's like, I thought you were about to kiss me. So now she just revealed to Peter Parker that she likes him. And there's this awkward silence kind of between the two. And she's just so excited. So she tries to change the subject. And she said, Peter, I was just joking and all this. And then she said, wait, there's no rule against liking superheroes? And you have nothing against me? And she said, no. And so they're just about to kiss. And I love this line, classic line for Mary Jane, as you know. Face it, Tiger, you just hit the jackpot. When all of a sudden, a knock is at the door. It's Aunt May. And Aunt May says, there's a phone. And basically a phone call for Mary Jane. It's Mary Jane's mom on the phone. Aunt May called Mary Jane Watson's mom because they think that Mary Jane is having sex with Peter Parker. So Mary Jane is forced to go home to her parents' house to, I guess, do the litter box, empty the litter box. And then when Mary Jane leaves, she promises that she'll call Peter and then Aunt May's like, uh, have you heard about the, you know what, maybe the birds and the beads? And <laughs> he's like, oh, stop it, Aunt May. And he's like, please, please don't even tell me about that. And Uncle Ben told me all about what that is. And this is just hilarious stuff. And she said, no hanky-panky in the house. <laughs> and she says, you know, that's how your parents met was in high school. And he says, yeah, I know. So we end the issue here. Peter Parker just feeling just absolutely excited. He now knows that Mary Jane Watson likes him. And now he is finally feels relieved that he was able to tell someone about his secret identity. So that's how we end this issue. Something different. I hope you liked it. And next time we'll be looking at issue number 14. And I hope to see you there. And until next time, keep reading comics.